Hello, my brothers and sisters. Today I'm gonna to be making steam fish. The steam fish that I'm gonna be making today is more a Caribbean style, specifically a Jamaican way of doing it. I'm gonna share with you and I hope you enjoy it. I'm gonna just show you a little bit of the ingredients in the meantime and just let you see what I'm gonna be working with and I'll be preparing them and I'll take you step by step through making the steam fish. For steam fish, you cannot make steam fish without fish. So I'm gonna be using some snapper to do my steam fish and I'm gonna use bami in my steam fish. So bami, that's pretty much cassava. So this is a Jamaican favorite that goes with steam fish. You can also use the Jamaican hard crackers. They call it tough crackers or water crackers, whichever you call it. You can use that instead of bami. I will use some Irish potato, garlic, onions, sweet pepper, pumpkin, tomato, carrots, and this is critical, okra. You cannot make steam fish without okra. I'll be using some corns and some scallions or green onions, some rosemary, thyme. I don't have fresh thyme, but if you have fresh thyme, it's better than the thyme in the bottle. Then I have fish seasoning, which is a Jamaican brand, and you know my I love my black pepper, so black pepper for sure. I'm gonna use some cock soup here, and that's just for the base to cook the um, Irish potato and pumpkin because that's gonna be the hardest one to cook. They have a brand, the same brand of this um, cock soup, but it's like a fish flavor one. So if you see that in the store, it's better to buy the fish flavor one than the actual cock soup. So that's what I have, so that's what I'll be using, but I have my fish seasoning to make up for that fish flavor, and I have my great little fish over here that I'm gonna be putting in so it's gonna be just fine so I'll take you through the next one so I just spice up my fish with the fish seasoning and black pepper and I just add a little bit of onions on it and I'm gonna set that aside while I prepare all the other ingredients the next step we're gonna do is cut up those potato and um, pumpkin you can use squash or whatever you have once it's in the pumpkin family you can use it but I actually found pumpkin in the store, so I use it, and it's a small piece. It's just diced up, so it looks like maybe about a cup diced up in little square-like um, sizes. And that's just one Irish potato. I'm going to be using a little bit of the onion and also some of the pepper for spices. And I'm going to put that in the pot with some butter, saute it, and then I'll add the pumpkin and the Irish potato to the pot and kind of cook it down for maybe about five minutes because it's harder to cook the pumpkin and the Irish potato than the actual Over fish. Over here in my pot, I have the butter. It's a small amount, maybe half of teaspoon. And I'm gonna add the onion and the pepper in it and saute. Then I'll add the actual um, Irish potato and the pumpkin. And I'll add the actual cock soup as a base to cook it when I'm doing it. So I'll show you how that works. So here I just put the onion and the pepper in the pot. That with some butter saute in it before I put the pumpkin and the Irish potato. This step is totally optional, but for me, flavor is everything, and everything gotta taste good. So whatever works that makes the fish taste wonderful, I'm down for it. So that's my first step, and that's just some of the onion and the pepper. I'll add more as I continue with making the steam fish. Remember the cock soup. So I'm gonna be using about less than half of that cock soup, and I'm gonna just dissolve it in some water. So here it's dissolving water. And I'm gonna put it in the, for the base to cook these Irish potato and pumpkin. So I'm gonna pour it right now inside of the pot and then I'll add the Irish potato and pumpkin. Right here, I've added the cock soup inside of the pot with the spices and stuff and the smell already is great. So I'm gonna put the pumpkin and the Irish potato in and you can add after that maybe a little bit like quarter cup of water to cook it all down nice and good. So now I add the pumpkin and the Irish potato to the pot with just a little bit of water. So in total, it's probably about a quarter cup or less than half a cup of water that's in that actual um, broth with the spice and everything. And I'm just gonna allow it to cook for about five minutes. Just keep in mind that most people in the Caribbean have their own way of making their steam fish. This is my way of doing it. And at the end of the day, all that matter is that the fish steams well and it tastes very good. And that's really what it is. And you get that nice Caribbean feel when you eat your steam fish. And that's the goal of making your steam fish. So look at this now. You see that I actually cook our Irish potato and pumpkin and I'll just show you see it's not too hard not too soft so it's perfect now to add the actual fish in and the vegetables 
and I'll show you how I do that. So these are the vegetables that I've cut up for the fish. So I have green onions. So if you notice, I have two different shapes, some small, and then I have them a little longer. That's just decoration. Onion, some carrots and peppers, garlic and rosemary. Rosemary is excellent on any fish. Then I have some corns and I have okra. So for steam fish, when you're making it Caribbean style, it doesn't matter how much okra you use, you can use any amount you please, any amount. If you love it and you want a lot, go for it. It's, it's whatever you want. And then I have some tomatoes. So let's go to the next step. Okay, so our fish is inside of the pot and I'm gonna add all of our vegetables in. Every one of these vegetables over here I'm going to add them all inside of our fish now. And the last thing that I'll add is the bamis. I'll show you how I do the bamis. Okay, so that's the steamed fish with all the vegetable in. One thing I got to tell you, when you make this type of steamed fish, you don't need to make rice or anything on the side. It's, it's actually a one pot meal. You can just have it as is. I prepare the bamis here. So I just cut them in pieces and I'm going to just submerge them in water because bami is sometimes dry and i kind of like to dip it in water before adding it to the pot so i'm just going to dip it in water and then i will add them to the pot with the fish after some time maybe about five minutes or less our steam fish is steaming right now and it's at a medium heat and our bamis are over here i put it in a little bit of water just to kind of help with the dryness and then i'll add them within five minutes so generally once everything is in the pot it's probably about 10 minutes and everything will be ready it's a very easy pot to cook. Once you prepare the ingredients and everything together, it should take you under 30 minutes to get everything done. So that's pretty much it. It's very tasty, very nice. If you have a good steamed fish recipe, share it with me. Put a comment in the comment section. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I hope to share more future fish videos with you. But for today, we're just doing the steamed fish and bami, and it's a Jamaican all-time favorite. For you ladies out there, if you come across Jamaican or Caribbean people and you want to make them something impressive, making steam fish and bami or steam fish with crackers is something that they would really appreciate. So that's something for you to note. Um, we're going to show you the next step once this is all done and ready to eat. Another tip I got to tell you, if you notice that I didn't really add any more water into the fish the reason for that is some of the vegetables that is in the steam fish naturally have water like tomato have a lot of water and all those other vegetables that you add so the call for water is very limited i put less than a cup of water in the whole process to make the steam fish and it should be good and if you remember the bamis over here i soak them also in water so that is going to come with a little bit of water too so there's no need to add a whole bunch of water to it it should be ready within the next seven minutes and um we're going to show you the final product so you can see our bami is inside of the pot and the fish looks so hidden because i have so many vegetables in there but they're there and they're fine so the fish if you move them around you'll start to see so that's one right here you can see it right there i lift the bami you can see it right there and it looks perfect so all i'm gonna do is add water the drink the gravy from the fish like that on the bami just for flavoring i'll just add them to all of my bamis just like that for flavoring just add them and this should be ready within three minutes that's it looking yummy and totally optional too you can add a pinch of salt no need to add it because you have all that spice and stuff but you can do add a pinch of salt if you're a person that likes salt in your meal yeah but and other than that that's it looks great so once you see your bami looking all nice and moist you know that your steam fish is almost ready to eat i did add about a tablespoon of butter on top of this um bami and in, on the fish so that it have this nice buttery taste as well so that is also important step two so i add that butter and it is perfect so this is going to be ready in less than two minutes and we're going to have a great time having this steam fish dinner in case you were wondering where's the fish so i removed the vegetables so you can see the actual fish 
and you can see it is nice and soft and looks juicy and ready to eat so i'm going to put it up all in a plate and i'm going to show you what it looks like once it's in the plate look at this steamed fish and bami right now it's all done in a plate and ready to be eaten everything looks juicy everything looks nice and ready to be eaten um, i just want to encourage you to like share comment and subscribe to the channel and i hope you do enjoy having dinner with me this evening remember god loves you and it is just wonderful to share these menu recipes with you hope you have a wonderful day and see you soon bye bye